what's the best diet for weight loss to get this sort of lean, you know, like body anatomy chart where you've got your legs are just, you know, man, you've got the stomach is just flat, you know. That's what Schlong was hanging out there. That's for only fans only. If you know, you know. Um, what's the best diet for weight loss? Well, you know the answer. I, I, I'm going to ask you questions. All right? I'm not even going to tell you because I want you to make the answers, okay? If I said to you, I want, I'll give you a thousand bucks for every slim, healthy person who's not starving, all right? Not starving, okay? Healthy, happy, ability to work person. Thousand bucks per person, unlimited, all right? Unlimited, I need, I need even for a movie set. I'm doing something in Bollywood. Where would we go? Where would we go to find slim, Men and women from ages 18 to 80, slim, healthy, mobile, adult human beings, men and women. Where would we go? We go to New York City? No. <laughs> you know, you remember, we, you, you can unlimited money here. Find as many as you want, I'll give you a thousand bucks per head, per person. I'm going to go straight to Asia, Africa, India, Bangladesh, Indonesia, etc., and I'm going to go to the country areas. Where people eat their traditional diet. What diet do they eat in traditional areas? Oh, lots of meat, KFC, bacon, eggs, full cream, milk, yeah. They do milk in Asia? I mean, they do now. They do now. But traditionally, what did Asians eat? What did Africans eat? Traditional diet. The macros. Was it high fat? Was it very low fat? Was it very high carbohydrate? Corn, rice. Sugarcane, fruits. Was it processed and cooked? You know? Oh, I gave you an answer there, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Look how, look at that leanness of the arm. There's, where's the fat? But they say sugar, carbohydrates make you fat. I'll be doing right. You ride a bike. You can eat anything if you ride a bike enough. Is that true? That's not true. Because if that was true, if you could just outright a fatty diet then how come most cyclists are fucking fat how come most tour de france riders are doing crazy dieting and stuff like that trying to you know what I, mean? I mean these days it's not as extreme because they're doing what i'm teaching but i've heard some horrific stories of full-blown eating disorders in the pro peloton because they're just some of their fat coaches or the nutritionists who they have never even fucking ridden. You know, 3,000, 6,000 K a month or whatever. So, you know? So, you know, that's, that's definitely not true. You. <laughs> Is that a lie? <laughs> you cannot outride a fatty diet, man. You cannot, all right? That's why all the keto people out there, they're doing intermittent fasting, one meal a day, Ozempic, fucking Ritalin, fucking Fentamine and shit for weight loss purposes, to try and cough, coffee, 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 to try and avoid eating, okay, so, you know the answers, but I can ask a crackhead on the street, I can ask a fucking QC lawyer, Queen's Council lawyer, I can ask like a senior doctor, I can ask someone with, uh, you know, maybe dropped at birth, no jokes intended, you know, I probably got dropped a few times and kicked at birth. But uh, I'm just saying that I definitely did. But they're all, all going to say, oh, but, but, but sugar, but, 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 but sugar, but, but. Every, they're all going to say it. Regardless of their IQ or their income or whatever, man, it's crazy. Sugar is a social pariah. So be careful, like, you know, doctors come to me for weight loss advice. Doctors come to me for health advice. World tour riders, tour de France, kingpins come to me for weight loss advice. And I'm like, fuck you, are like a multi-million dollar athlete. And they're like, yeah, but their nutritionist is just hired by the team to look good. Like, they don't, they don't have a fucking clue. Harley, you're doing right. You, you, like, you say it how it is. They have a best season ever following your advice. So, their word gets around. So, uh, you yeah, know, what's the best diet for weight loss? And the sun is sustainable. But like, oh, should I do the master cleanse and, and then lean out and then, and then do your diet? No, 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 no. Don't do my diet, do my lifestyle. If your goal is weight loss, all right? If your goal is weight loss, man, if you never, here's a question I'll ask you. If you never ever wonder, wonder. If you never ever want to worry about being a fat fuck ever again, 
I'm your man. All right, if you want the, the energy capabilities to win the Tour de France, all right, assuming you have that talent and go and do what it takes, I'm your man, okay? And if you know, you know. So it's like, that's what I mean, like, people out there, like, they, they got kids and shit, and it's like, man, like, there's so much fucking energy for kids. It's crazy. Me, I do what the fuck I want every day. Um, you know, so people out there, like, doing keto diet and stuff, I'm like, you've got kids, man. You've got teenage daughters. You've got teenage sons. Like, how the fuck can you give to them when you're just running on fucking ketones, man? Your kid, that's, in my opinion, that's, that's like uh, second-degree child abuse. You're not trying to abuse your kids, but your absence, because you're so undercarbed and, like, oh, no, 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 off with the fairies. You know what I mean? It's, it's fucking nuts, man. Yeah, I see it all the time, man. I see it in these rich families. You know? If you want clear vision in life, there we go. It's a metaphor. Do my protocols, man. All right? <laughs> If your goal is weight loss, man, you know what I mean? If you want to look down and, and see abs and see veins and shit, if you're a guy, if you're a girl, that's not, that's too lean, you know, low estrogen. But if you're a guy and you want to lower your estrogen levels, man, do my protocols. Hey, bro. Yeah? Bike life, mate. You must be a bum like me, you can't afford a car. Poor bugger. Let's get him in a car and get, get him fat and sick. Let, let's, let's have more cars out there. Do you know Cycling's dangerous, so it's just, you know, I'll ride, I'll ride a car instead. Yeah, let's, let's make it fucking more dangerous for the, the cats and the dogs and the koalas on the road and the, the kids on the road. Let's make it more dangerous. Don't drive a, don't ride a bike, ride a car. Jump in a car. <laughs> don't drive a bike, ride a car. Too much Nullarbor white this morning. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy out there. Crazy times, man. Look at that dude's got a speeding fine from the cops to say, it's oh, cinematic. But yeah, it's cops to say, and dude just got a speeding fine. You know what I mean? So fucking, you know what I mean? Cops look at me on my mobile phone, and I don't give a fuck about some cyclists. They're fixated on the cars, because the cars are what the danger is. So it's just, yeah, man, imagine that. Imagine driving a car, if you worry about speeding, and God, I forgot to indicate, and like, fuck, the, the responsibility of driving a car, and he's, he's getting fucking fatter and fatter and fatter, mate. You know? Ride a bike, burn fat on oil. What's the best diet in the world for weight loss? What I'm teaching, fucking guaranteed. Garen fucking T, nothing comes close, man. Nothing comes close. Let's do a video, and this is, yes, it's April 1st, but this is not an April Fool's uh, the, 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 the video, all right? Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Where are we looking in the camera here? I think we're looking in there. Um, it's more of my first videos I've ever made, so bear with me. But yeah, let's talk about uh, Isaac Butterfield changed my life. I am quitting cycling, and I am quitting a vegan lifestyle. I've been... Isaac Butterfield, he's a guy who helped start a career for a while back, back in 2018, kicked him off. We had a bit of, you know, this is a bit of Aussie banter. But I've, I've been thinking about it, you know. I've had a few Isaacs fans coming over here and leave some comments, you know, you're vegan, blah, 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 and you're cycling, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, like, you know, Isaac Butterfield's fans, they're, they're, a, they're a smart lot. Like their, their IQ is, like, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely double figures, man. You know, we're talking, like, 10, 11, 12. Like, I think that's high on the IQ scale, all right? So... And some of the debates and points they put up, I'm thinking, you know what? And so it's a combination of like vegan gains and Isaac Butterfield's fans, you know, like you get a middle ground there. You've got some pretty good intellect, like vegan gains is like cut out sugar and, and don't ride a bike and don't ride as a dickhead. And, you know, and the Isaac Butterfield fans are like, don't ride a bike, don't ride as a dickhead. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm thinking, I'm going with it, mate. I'm going with it. And uh, so bikes getting sold tomorrow. Going to get myself a Commodore because they're made here in South Australia. Did you know every single Commodore was made here in South Australia? Because I'm sitting in traffic the other day in an in a, in a Uber to go to the supermarket because now I quit sugar and I've got no energy doing the vegan gains diet. And, uh, you know, and, and I was going to, I seen this chick and I thought, man, she looks like Harry Potter. I'm going to marry her. She can get a green card off me. I thought, what a great life I can have. Natasha's out, Harry Potter. Uh, this chick's from, where's she from? I don't know, but Germany or something. And I'm just going to, we're getting, boom, we're getting hitched, baby. Hitched. Natasha, that OnlyFans chick you see me with, out the door. Done. She's already gone. Boom. Out of here. Anyway, so I'm sitting in the Uber going to the supermarket. It's about a mile from my place. And I'm just sitting in traffic. And I'm just thinking, come on. Just go forward. It's just bumper to bumper. And I'm thinking, 
This is because of cyclists. This is because of cyclists, man. We're just, you know, you're sitting in traffic, you're sitting there in, in your Uber or you're behind the wheel, you know, you're taking control of your life, you're sitting behind a car wheel, and you're going nowhere, or you're going walking pace, and there's just cyclists. These cheeky fucking cyclists go left, right, just like fucking salmon, mate, just filtering through, like fucking spawn and sperm, like a, you know, just filtering through the cervix, mate, of traffic. And you're sitting in your car, you're thinking, fucking cyclists. And that's what's causing the traffic jams. Fucking cyclists, mate. I, I mean, it is. You know, and, and no offense if you're a cyclist, I'm just saying, if we got rid of bikes, we're gonna, ha and, you know, and we drove more cars. We, the, the solution to the pollution is more fucking cars, man. Right? The traffic jams is caused by cyclists. Everyone knows that. On the horn, bunch of cyclists in front of you. Always, mate. More bikes is slower 